Hello. I would like to introduce you to a math Halloween activity that I have prepared called Pumpkin Math Squares Addition and Subtraction. First of all, I'm going to show you the student response pages. And here you see where they're going to write their name, their date, and these are their templates to do this activity in. Okay. There are five different activities in this exercise. So going up to the top, you go to Slideshow and View Show. The reason I'm doing this in a video is so that you can see the animations that are provided. This activity is called Pumpkin Math Squares. uses addition and subtraction. The directions that you want to explain to your students are that inside the squares, they are going to only use the numbers 1 through 9 to fill in the empty boxes. And each number is only used one time. For activities 1 through 5, they progressively get a little bit harder. Okay. What I would probably do for this activity is I would put it on a whiteboard instead of a screen. That way on the whiteboard this, this would be presented on it and the students could come up and they could write in these little squares if you had it flashed on a whiteboard and it could be an activity that students come up to the board and do. I would have this as a warm-up activity at the beginning of my math lesson or maybe as a warm-up activity when you are doing attendance and beginning of the day activities. You probably do not want to do all five in one day. Maybe the week prior to Halloween do one each day so that they have a fun activity each day. They'll copy the information that's here onto their worksheet okay, and then complete it on their worksheet. Then when it's time for the answers, okay, we're now to the answer sheet, okay, then they appear. But before I did that, I would try again to, instead of have this projected onto a screen, I would project it onto my whiteboard or my chalkboard, and I would actually have students come up and solve this Halloween pumpkin math square. Okay. As you notice, the numbers 1 through 9 are just used one time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This will become important to point out to your students in the more difficult puzzles. You go on to day 2, and again, each one has some Halloween animations on it okay, that make it more fun. Okay, and then the answers come up. <clears throat> okay. By number three, it's starting to get a little bit more difficult for them. There is now five empty spaces and not as many clues. And again, point out to your students as they are doing it that each number is used just one time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. And the answers for number four. And the fifth one. Okay. On the fifth one, there are two different responses that the students could come up with that would be correct. So I've provided both of those. I've worked these out and that's found out that there were two ways to solve puzzle number five. Okay. You, have your student worksheets. Okay. There's three on the first page, two on the second page. I would photocopy them back to back. Again, I would do one a day as a warm-up activity for a whole week leading up to Halloween. When you are printing these out, okay, you, would, you would go to the slide that you want. Okay. And this is slide 14. And this one here is slide 
15. What you would want to do to make sure you print out just those two pages is go to File and Print and where, click on Slides and then put 14 okay, and the hyphen or dash and 15 and then press Print. Otherwise, if you do not do that step, you're going to print out all 15 slides which are not necessary. I hope that this is a great warm-up activity for your students during the week of Halloween. This is Heidi McDonald from Unique Teaching Resources.